I know that Carl Sagan was an influence. Talk to us about that. Yeah, he was, uh, not that I was like drinking buddies with him, but we were sort of a generation separate. But I was applying to colleges in high school, and I already knew I wanted to do to study the universe at age 17 because I knew at age 9. So my applications were dripping with the universe. I was accepted at Cornell, and it's time to decide what school you go to, and, a, and a, 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 a set of other schools as well. The admissions office, unknown to me, sent my application to Carl Sagan. He had already, he was already famous. He was already on Johnny Carson, the Tonight Show, sent to get him to just comment on it. Carl Sagan then sent me a letter, hand signed, saying, I understand you might, you're considering Cornell. If you come by and visit, I'd be happy to show you the lab. And I said, is this Carl Sagan? Is this, you know, I showed it to mom, dad, is this, could this be? And it was. I wrote back and I said, yeah, we'll go up in two weekends. He met me on a Saturday morning in the snow. Gave me a tour of his lab. I'm in his office. He reaches back, pulls out one of his books, signs it to me. The time for me to leave, he drives me to the bus station. It's snowing a little heavier. He writes his home phone on a sheet of paper, said, if the bus can't get through, call me, spend the night at our place. And I thought to myself, who am I? I'm just some high school kid. And to this day, to this day, I have this duty to respond to students who are inquiring about the universe as a career path, to respond to them in the way that Carl Sagan had responded to me. 